Hi, I'm Ian Ferguson from Link Software Technologies. Um, we're going to start doing little video segments, and uh, today with me is Will Keegan, the CTO of Lynx. Hello, everybody. So, uh, Will, maybe talk a little bit about yourself, a bit of a background. All right. Um, so, my background is computer architecture. I went to University of Texas, uh, had an awesome education there, um, learned a lot about uh, ASIC design, um, compilers, um, I love foundational technology, um, started doing a lot of work with middlewares, uh, got back involved making compilers, and also uh, got a cool job in DC doing some work for DOD and uh, started getting into embedded crypto and dealing with real high end security technologies. It's probably there where I started uh, digging into uh, software techniques for building similar type of properties you get out of ASIC design, uh, trying to come up with ways to solve problems with software that still kind of get you uh, hardware-like security properties. Cool. Yeah. And I think you've been here about nine years in the company? Yeah, just about nine years. Yeah. I've been here nine weeks, so I'm feeling a little bit outmatched here. Um, what brings you into, into the HQ? Because normally you're out the East Coast. Yeah, um, got some new customers uh, training on Lynx Mosaic. It's our newest product. Um, military customers, uh, folks that are dealing with just high threat environments and uh, dealing with some significantly complex systems. Um, so uh, projects kind of um, oriented towards research at this point, looking for next generation techniques for solving problems, um, trying to break out of traditional operating system methods uh, for managing security properties, um, and looking to try and dig a little bit deeper. So we're hosting a class, trying to do some workshops, um, leveraging some of these new uh, technologies for solving those issues. So Lynx has been around 30 years or so, right? And going along, doing real-time operating systems, and then a year ago, you announced this mosaic thing, right? Yeah. And um, it's on you. Um, it wasn't me, because nine weeks. Um, what things did you see in the customer base, challenges? What, what created you to think about, what got you to think about this? And um, do you see it sort of as a natural evolutionary step on from what Lynx was doing anyway? Or is this something, some radical new departure in your mind? It's not a new departure. Um, the, there are some significant issues we want to address. Um, so uh, we've always been a company building just platform technology, um, specifically operating systems, but operating systems have been in the hot seat uh, for just um, security concerns. Uh, they're naturally complex things um, for just so many years, at least 30 years now. Operating systems have been the, the primary focal point where security policies have been enforced. Right. And uh, they just haven't, they haven't been doing well. I mean, there's pretty much every type of security vulnerability. There's something that has to do with things being too complex in operating systems um, that just need to be dealt with. And you know, the first thing that has to be done is these systems have to be broken down. Um, taking a step back, we've had technologies that we've been using to bring this platform together. Um, we've already invested in virtualization technology a long time ago. Uh, we, we knew it pretty well as far as a technology that can be used to separate things, isolate things, consolidate things. Um, the, the big thing about Mosaic that we find just kind of an evolutionary step, um, not just repackaging old things, but something that is just providing more purpose, is, is the ability to really integrate um, integrate components in a way where you're almost reconstituting operating system platforms, but in a way where there's transparency, there's ways to see through the platform, there's a ways to give choices to the customers on picking exactly which elements need to be um, there uh, to support applications. So, the, you know, the, coming from a virtualization platform that's always been looked at as something that's really there to support consolidation, maybe isolation, we want to take it a step further and look at it as something that supports integration um, at a fine grain level. Um, so if you take a look at most security vulnerabilities, you'll typically find some issue where something that just has too much uh, control over things um, and has too much stuff in it, um, natural way to resolve some of these issues is to start breaking things apart. Okay. Simplifying the design. So Zeek is is a framework that you're you're using to be able to just bring things down closer to fine grain elements. 
um, so that you can work with the problems to kind of some sort of closure, where if you have some security goal in mind, you can use the technology to uh, really build the solution out where you really understand how things are solved. So for instance, like data protection, um, you want your data to be going through places that you can see. You need to know the integrity of these things. You have that kind of control you need over hardware uh, to be able to enforce the properties you need to get what you're looking for. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed to be able to give people that, um, that, that ability to, under, to comprehend how the system comes together and, and even build it up, uh, not from scratch, but with actually reasonable components. Okay, I mean, so lots of stuff in there. Maybe uh, we could talk through what it would actually look like <clears throat> in a real application. Yeah, um, so uh, let's just take a basic application that, that needs to be secure, right? So security for us is really just kind of an expectation. Um, uh, we want things to behave a certain way. And so let's take an application that's just supposed to communicate with something outside of a processor with another processor. You know, how do we know that that thing is behaving the, the way we want it? Um, if we're dealing with uh, some embedded environments um, where say we have IoT devices or maybe like UAVs, there's always gonna be some need to uh, protect that data, guarantee confidentiality of it, authenticity of it. And so what, how do you implement that with confidence? Um, traditional methods might just be using uh, standards like IPsec or TLS, um, and that's great, we love standards, but how is it really implemented? How do you know it's really resilient when you really break it down? Um, how are the implementations of the APIs work? Who has access to uh, sensitive things like authentication material? Um, any of the key material used for any of the crypto. How do you know that that stuff hasn't been tampered with? How do you know residents of the operating system don't have access? And so we wanna, we wanna start getting into that so that we can solve the problem with, with confidence. And I guess, you know, with the deployment cycles that some of the things that links are in, unlike a digital assistant in somebody's house, it's actually gonna be out and deployed for quite a while. And so you're gonna sort of have sometimes some hardware failures, right? And you've gotta be able to deal with, the thing isn't always gonna behave the way that it, it shipped out of the factory. You guess you've got to deal with that in these in that safe, secure way, is that is that fair? I mean, the way I really wanna solve those the problems for those environments is not have to give them a piece of technology that needs to be patched. Um, so any kind of event where either the integrity of software is in question or hardware is in question. I mean, Lynx needs to be the vendor that provides something that's just not in question. So um, if I provide really large components that are really complex, um, that really just don't get enough time to be examined, um, it's hard for us to give things to people with confidence that they're just resilient throughout the test of time. Um, if I'm able to give folks components where the things that are really being used have built, been built a certain way, and that way can be verified, my confidence goes up dramatic, uh, dramatically as a vendor who feels like I, there should be very little need to ever use, look at our software and test it um, further. Um, and that would be great. I, in general, this strategy of uh, in, implementing security through patching, just it, it doesn't make sense uh, to us. And we really need to provide technology that's just working from the beginning throughout the end of time. We do that with through architecture. We do that through um, uh, through transparency, through uh, verification of how the interfaces work together and what those components are.